which means that the spirit of God has now tabernacled in your heart. Somebody say, bring your offering to the altar. No, sir. This is not the altar. No, sir. This is a podium for the pastor to stand upon so that those at the back can see him. This is not the altar. The temple today is you. Spirit, soul, body, outer court, holy place, holy of holies. The altar is in the holy of holies. So the altar is inside you. You don't bring offering to the altar. You are the offering on the altar. There's no altar anywhere. The altar is inside the believer. When you worship, when you sing in worship, when you give an offering, because it is coming from your heart, it is offered on the altar. Not that you go somewhere to be looking for altar. That is foolishness and the idiotis at its highest level. There's no altar in any church building. Men are the carriers of the altar. Know you not that you are the temple, the altar is inside the temple. So God's altar, you are the altar. So if somebody say, raise an altar, tell him which one. No other altar can any man lay than that which has been laid, which is Christ in the heart of the believer. If I'm teaching good, shout, I hear you. That's the beauty of Bible study. It frees you from being manipulated by charlatans. You are the altar. That's why you pray. And in prayer, you are praying inside the altar. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Where is God's house? You are the house. You are the house of prayer. I'm teaching good. Please sit down. Let me push it a bit.